nothing can break me. Hi guys, I'm Emma. Welcome back if you've been here before, and if you're brand new, then thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you like to stick around and join us in all of our adventures. You can do that by hitting the little subscribe button, it's just down there. If you do hit the subscribe button, then please make sure to turn the notification bell as well, and then you'll be notified every single time that we post. So you might notice that John is missing. He is still feeling a little bit under the weather this week, so um, I'm on my own, it's just me, but that's fine. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much and John will be on the mend really, really soon. Um, I found a tag on Wildest Gram in the Wilderness. I'm gonna leave a link to their video down below. Um, I just thought it was super fun, definitely great for January. It's called the Whole New Year tag. So from the title, you might guess that it's about the new year and also maybe a hint of Disney in there. So um, there's just a few questions. There's actually seven. So I'm going to get straight into it and hopefully it will be nice and swift and short. Um, so the first question is, what is the biggest success of the past year? So that would obviously be 2020 and I was having to think about this one and obviously it's been tricky because we're stuck inside so um, and a lot of the last year has been not so great things. So I think that we would just say, or I definitely would just say, getting through the year is our biggest success. We managed to consistently upload um, for the whole year, which is great. Um, we had a lot of fun doing it. We've had a lot of YouTube kind of successes, mini ones, life kind of successes, just kind of getting through things. So I think I'm not gonna put too much pressure on picking like the one thing that we were, were super successful with, but I think just getting through 2020 is enough. <laughs> Question number two is what do you want to change about your channel this year? So we've been talking about it, we want a new intro but we're not really sure what style of intro to go with. Um, John really likes the longer intros like the one that we've got now with like little clips of like what's been going on and I really like the kind of shorter, just kind of a colour and then the logo and then the kind of gone kind of intro. So you'll have to let us know down in the comments below which kind of intro you prefer but yeah so we're going to play around with intros. We also would like a new banner because we like our banner and it definitely represents us as a channel but I think we want something a little bit sleeker, um, a little bit kind of more polished so that would be really cool. The, the trouble is like if it was a channel just for me I think everything would be pink and I think for John everything would just be blue so it's compromising between those two things um, that's really really tricky. Um, we're kind of having tw the beginning of 2021 as a kind of trial kind of few months while we're in lockdown still so it'll be interesting to see kind of what videos we enjoy doing and what kind of videos you enjoy watching so we're gonna just see what kind of takes our fancy but um definitely the intro and the um the the kind of banner um is the main thing i think i know those seem really small for an entire year but getting the time to do them and putting them together and like agreeing those are really 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 hard so um yeah those things the next question is what do you want to keep doing this year on your channel so we both really enjoy weekly vlogging so we definitely want to continue doing that we enjoy the mavic mondays when we get the chance to do those so we're going to keep doing those um, we've been enjoying shorts quite a lot, so while those are popular, we're going to do those. Um, lots of things we're probably going to keep the same. Obviously, we would love to be travelling and doing travel vlogs and stuff like that, but where that's not possible, um, we're just kind of playing around with it. We just want to continue having fun with the channel, and while we're enjoying it, we're going to continue doing it, and while you guys are enjoying it, we're going to continue doing it, so definitely we're going to keep um, just having fun, putting out the videos we enjoy doing, experimenting with videos that maybe we'll enjoy doing, and being creative with it. That's what we're going to keep the same. The next question is, what is your channel's New Year's resolution? So we didn't really set one this year because we, obviously last year we thought we were going to go travelling and um, we always enjoy putting a lot of effort into our travel videos and they normally do fairly well and we were super excited about that, especially like Disney travel videos which we did have a Disney trip planned. Um, well, we had it planned twice and now it's cancelled for the second time and we've got to rearrange it. So I want to say that we want to get a travel series out, um, but obviously that all depends on the world and the state of everything and the vaccines and whatnot. So I think I would really, really, really love it if we could hit 2,000 subscribers by 
like 2022 that would be really great um but it doesn't really matter that much as long as we're enjoying it it, it really doesn't matter we enjoy see, talking to everybody in the comments and watching everybody's videos and you know making the content but it I think to have a goal to reach for is important so I think 2000 would be really really nice and we would really really we would be very excited we get very excited for every single subscriber but for 2000 that would be really cool um the next question it hurts me in my heart <laughs> do you have a Disney trip planned this year or will you be planning any so we have had we had a Disney trip planned for 20 June 2020 um we were going to meet Bob and Kelly in Disney World because it was Kelly's birthday in June um, but that got cancelled because of the coronavirus and so we rearranged for February because we didn't think that it would still be going on in 2021 um, not because like the new year and then everything would go away but because it was so much time we thought everything would be sorted by then um, so in December we found out that that one was cancelled as well so we don't have a trip planned at the moment but we booked everything through Virgin Holidays and we think they've been great actually um, cancelling the first trip that was and rearranging the first trip the June one that was really really super easy and then they informed us in, that the February trip was cancelled and instantly issued us with a voucher um, the voucher originally had a date of May we had to book something by May um, which we thought was going to be super tricky because we're supposed to be in lockdown until like March so we weren't sure and then after lockdown obviously not everything's going to get straight back to normal even if it if, if we do come out in March but then they extended the voucher so we can use it until September so we can book for after September but we have to have booked it by September um, so by the end of the year we definitely will have something planned we're hoping it's Disney but we can use the voucher for any destination on the Virgin Holidays website we do think we're gonna have to pay a little bit extra towards it it does seem like the holiday prices are gonna have gone up but that's totally fine we're you know we're happy to just be able to book something we've been really putting off booking a trip um, because the like getting excited about it and then it dropping right down when it gets cancelled it's just too much at the moment so we're gonna wait probably until maybe the summer and see how things are then and then book something and I know it's probably not the most sensible way to do it for you know money and things but it makes us feel a bit better that way so um, no we don't have a trip planned and yes we will be planning at least one um my brother is still adamant where he's getting married in october in canada so we'll see about that one <laughs> uh, the next question is what do you want to collect more of this year okay so me and john aren't huge collectors and that's because i think once we start collecting something we want all of it so we've really like we don't really collect pins or pops or anything like that but i do want more ears um i have to, I'm just trying to figure out where I've put my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have maybe eight or nine pairs at the moment, but I really, really want to get into firstly more of my own is because some of my favourite pairs of ears are actually is that I have made, which I'm also shocked. Um, so I'd love to be doing some more of that, but I also want to buy some more small shop ears because they're really, really cute. And then when I get to Disney, it'll feel special to be buying a Disney pair. So yeah, I definitely want to collect more Disney ears. And also we collect the gym shawls at the moment. So I'd love to be able to get some more of those, but those are really expensive. So, um, or some of them are expensive. Some of them are not too bad. So um, yeah, we'd like to do that, but we need somewhere else to display those. So we're not really sure what we're going to do with that yet but that's definitely something we're going to be doing this year we did get a new um gym show for christmas this year i'll insert a picture of it now it's um i think it's scrooge mcduck and it's really really fun and we really love it so yeah that that would be a cool thing i definitely want to see if i can get some princesses of the gym shows because they're really really cool and then the last question is what disney event are you most looking forward to this year <sighs> I mean this is tough isn't it because we don't we don't get to go um we think festival of the arts is a festival we would really like to go to but obviously i think is that on now i think that might be on right now other than that any maybe halloween maybe christmas um i don't know if this counts as an event but i think i'm gonna count it as an event 
but the live action of The Little Mermaid um, I think comes out this year and The Little Mermaid is one of my favourite films of all time so I definitely am excited to see that and David Diggs playing Sebastian should be really good because he was in Soul and he was also in Hamilton and I loved him in both of those things so um, yeah super excited but I don't really know what other event like we don't really get many Disney events over here in the UK maybe just going to the park will be an event for us it definitely will but um, yeah I really enjoyed doing this tag it's nice to be able to reflect on like where you're going and what you've been doing in the past year so I think maybe we'll be doing this one next year and reflecting back on 2021 definitely feel free to give this tag a go if you would like to I'll leave the questions in the comments um, in the description, not in the comments. <laughs> I'll leave the questions in the description so you can give it a go if you want to and tag us and let us know because we'd love to come and watch. But um, thank you to the wildest gram in the wilderness for putting this out there and saying anybody can give it a go because I've really really enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and give us a little subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!